All right, so your project brief is done. Now what? Before jumping into the design, you need a clear structure. So that's where a site map comes in. If you're just joining us, my name is Christina, and this is the second part of a series of videos about Elementor's AI Site Planner. In the last video, we created a professional project brief with AI Site Planner. So now we're going to move on to the next step automatically generating a sitemap that lays out your website's structure. So AI Site Planner takes the pages defined in your brief and it turns them into interactive sitemap. This is going to give you a clear bird's eye view of your site's layout. A well-structured sitemap not only ensures a smooth design and development process, but it also helps communicate expectations with your client. This is going to keep everything well organized and professional. So let's start with the home page. I'm going to zoom in a little bit here so you can really see each section here has a written description with its purpose and content. At the top, you have the option to regenerate the page, which updates all the sections. So clicking the three little dots here lets you rename the page and quickly locate it within the wireframe later. Let's take a look at the header. As you can see, this section stands out from the others. It's green. That indicates it's a global element that applies across multiple pages. All right, I really like how this header description looks, so let's move on. We're gonna go down and we're gonna see, welcome to Brew Horizon. If you wanna add a section, simply click the plus icon, choose a section type, and it's as simple as that. If you wanna regenerate a section, perhaps to get a little bit of a different structure, click here. Deleting is done by clicking the trash icon and you can also drag sections to rearrange their position on the page. All right, I'm gonna zoom out a little bit now so you can see this a little bit better. And let's take a look at the rest of the sitemap. So here's the product page that I was talking about. It has a green label, meaning it has a global element. And hovering over this confirms this. It's a single product page template that applies to all product listings. Now moving to the right, we see cart, I can see my checkout and my account, and these indicate that we have an e-commerce functionality which is going to be added once we generate the wireframe and export the kit, exactly as we defined it in the brief. All right, to the left of that, we have the Contact Us page, we see the About Us, the blog, the subscription, and shop pages. Let's zoom in a little bit on the shop page. Like before, we can regenerate the entire page, rename it, or delete it. You can also add, regenerate, delete, move around sections here. Hovering next to the page gives you a few options to add new pages. All right, so let's say your client suddenly decides they wanna add a page to introduce their team of business family members. I'm just gonna click add a page, name it descriptively, so the AI page generator knows what it's about, and just like that, I'm just gonna click, and look, a whole page is generated right before my eyes, ready to review and edit. Once your sitemap is complete, you're ready to move to the wireframe stage, and that is where these structured descriptions become actual sections with elements. You can start setting your styles, which will carry over as global design systems, ensuring consistency and a professional setup. So if you want to edit your brief, you can go ahead and do so now by clicking the edit brief icon in the top left. But pay attention though, if you do that, you're going to lose any of the current sitemap sections that you've already worked on, and it will generate a new set instead. So now that we've mapped out the entire website structure, it's time for the next step, turning this sitemap into a fully interactive wireframe. So in the next video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that. So stay tuned. Thanks for joining.